Welcome to another awesome episode of Video Crawl. Today, it's not just me. We also have Giraffe with me who's going to be asking important questions. And the topic is how to leverage videos for customer acquisition as a B2C brand. We have an amazing guest today. He's ex-Asian Paints, Coca-Cola, and now the Director of Marketing at Swiggy. The guest is Bharat Vaidyanathan. I met Bharat recently on set for a campaign we were producing for him or a bunch of influencer-centric videos that we were producing for Swiggy uh, in collaboration with this agency called People Design. They are an amazing bunch of creative folks, so you should check out their work. Uh, and of course, we'll plug some of the videos that we collaboratively made uh, later in this episode. But coming down to today's topic, right? If you are a marketer for a B2C brand, customer acquisition is most important to you, right? Um, and what role do videos play in this? If you're running a campaign that's video centric, how much of your budget actually should go into the content development versus the rest of the media mix? That's really going to drive ROI and, and grow you, grow the business for you, acquire more customers, right? Um, what goes into a great brief? I'm going to tackle all of these questions and many more with Bharat. So welcome to this episode. <laughs> Bharat, it's great to have you on Video Crawl. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's, it's lovely being here. Uh, so let's dive right in. You know, we're talking about video content, right? Uh, but let's take a step back and talk about content itself and how the content mix has, you know, evolved over the last decade or so. Content is king. It was, it will continue to be, right? But what goes into the content marketing mix has evolved quite a big bit in the last decade. What are the biggest changes or shifts you've seen in India in the last decade? Yeah, so over the past decade, there's, there's obviously been a, a, a pretty drastic change in the way media mix is operated. Um, the core reason, um, right from right from traditional mediums of uh, TV, print, outdoors, um, really taking the sizable share of, of the wallet, uh, we see digital coming in and, and reaching out to that wallet and and in some cases, uh, and at least in new age companies, completely taking over print and TV uh, as well. The world today consumes over a billion hours of video content just on YouTube. Uh, that speaks a lot uh, about just the potential that there is. Um, mm -hmm. India, with, with its rapid uh, mobile and internet penetration, has really transformed the space uh, from, from data being almost unaffordable uh, uh, to, to, to middle class uh, in India. Today, data uh, a, a GB of data costs less than 10 rupees. Uh, that speaks a lot about the appetite or the opportunity uh, for content to go out there and also talks about the quality of content that is there. 70% of content today uh, being consumed by uh, through mobile phones. So. That's, that's really changed the way uh, attention spans, customization, personalization uh, has operated. Uh, and, and the last aspect that has really affected uh, the media mix is definitely your measurability. Um, um, today, uh, gone are the days where, where, where you set out the ad on, on TV, targeting certain programs, you, you set out the radio and, and, and print channels. Uh, and, and pray that it, it reaches the right audience. Uh, today, with digital, every single aspect, right from targeting to measurement, uh, is, is measured, scrutinized, and also allows opportunity to course correct, uh, which, which otherwise wouldn't be the case. So that, that all of that brings digital uh, mediums to be this new shiny object uh, in the media mix that is garnering so much importance uh, today, um, and 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 that's that's what makes um, life more challenging and interesting uh, for all of us. I'm also keen to know from you at Swiggy today, what you know, what percentage of the content mix is videos? Like every every uh, medium has a role to play. Uh, there is, uh, but but in terms of video today, we see that percentage is increased. Uh, I'd say at least over 70% of the mix remains content, uh, remains video mm -hmm. content. 
but over and above that, we see a larger percentage of mind share and time going into creation of content uh, because mm -hmm. it requires the amount of uh, love and care yeah. to kind of develop. So that's absolutely, the, videos are that's a lot the, more intense in terms of effort. Oh, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, so that's 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 where we are right now. Uh, but not to take away from uh, the other mediums uh, that are equally, if not uh, more effective, depending on what we want to reach and which which region of the country we want to reach. Beat to the beat to the beat with key. Bale is the bot then I am busy. Spoonful, mouthful, tummy is full. All because I got my bowl full of key fully busy. Bale bars with balls of bundi and super arwag. Easy peasy, one bowl meals. MC Ram Murthy is having the feels. The Bowl Company presents Mind Bowling Bowl, specially co-created with me, Danish Seth. Order now and get mind blown. Sorry, bold. Asan, see, I know you come from a, a nice mix of, you know, sales, brand and brand marketing, right? And that gives you a keen insight into the customer perspective, right? And how customers, you know, consumers engage with brands and what their expectations are. Um, you know, from that point of view, what are the big trends or video trends you're seeing uh, when it comes to B2C brands and how they use videos? Uh, I mean, the assumption is we understand consumers, but that's still uh, that's still put to test. It's a journey. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Um, yes, I mean, in terms of uh, in terms of the big trends, I mean, if, if you take something like uh, if you take video content as such, uh, it's no longer creating a sixty second ad and a for fifteen second adapt and then rolling with it. Uh, there are so many elements to it, and each element has evolved over time. Um, I think I think the uh, there are several sharp changes that have happened. One thing that we we are also trying to understand and kind of um, um, attempt to master is is the is the uh, increase of uh, influencer based um, uh, content creation. All right, um, and there again, it's it's just not. Um, getting your bands signing up an influencer that meets your TG and then letting them do what they want to do. Uh, there is a process, there is still a purpose uh, for which we've defined this. And then the way brands use this is going to be very crucial. Uh, influencer marketing has exploded. Um, ev ev anyone with, with, with uh, right from 10,000 followers to millions of them um, has an opportunity to, to be an influencer today. And brands are ready to pay them money for it, but but with so much traffic comes the need for uh, absolutely clutter breaking content. Uh, there is constant innovation that happens in the same uh, field of uh, innovation in, in in the field of influencer marketing today. Uh, that is constantly needed for one to not just view them as an influencer or a brand ambassador to do the job for you. But also, you as a company, you as technology, can assist in in building that. Um, for example, the 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 classic, the, the celebrated Cadbury's ad, uh, which which brought in customization in in, in video making. Um, signing up Shah Rukh Khan itself would have been enough uh, for the for the brand to really take off. But they had to back it up with great amount of technology. Uh, tech innovation to ensure that it really goes viral and, and there is virality that's built through customization uh, through the platform. Uh, that is one thing that we see. The other aspect is, is, is uh, search engine op optimization and, and basically monitoring how your video works. Uh, mm -hmm. This has evolved so much so that, 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 that it, it only goes to show how uh, you know, content today is going to really go out there and 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 get the job done for you in the in the sharpest possible way. It's no longer just the video that you're posting there. Uh, everything from the title, from the thumbnail, from the hashtags, from captions, uh, descriptions, to the links uh, and traffic attribution, uh, each of them is a each of those elements are a chapter today that that one needs to really go out there and, and study to optimize. Um, 
um, everything from um, from understanding when you need to use a clickbait um, um, title or, or thumbnail to uh, options of actually directing traffic to uh, areas that really result in customer acquisition uh, is is absolutely uh, crucial today. Uh, it's, it's important that brands today spend time on each of these um, aspects to to really get to really get the results that they would want to um, achieve at the end of it. I see shells not by the sea. Here in my bowl is conchigli. Primavera veggies are a luscious crunch. Ooh, my stockings roll up in a bunch. Sprinkle cheese, I know you wanna. Didi tera bole divana. Don't mind that silly chaya. She's jealous of my one bowl wonder. The Bowl Company presents Mind Bowling Bowls, specially co created with me, Danish Seth. Order now and get mind blown. Sorry. Bold. You talked about influence marketing, leveraging technology for personalization, transparency when it comes to promotions and reaching the, the target customer, and of course, SEO and performance marketing. And it, what, what was most interesting was also what you mentioned that it is harder, right? So A, we're spending more time creating these video pieces because it just takes that much longer and it takes that much more effort. And B, we're spending more time on ensuring that the video content delivers for us. And I think these are two, you know, gems of insights because oftentimes people think, oh, you make a video. I mean, the, sometimes we get like a strange brief saying we want a viral video. It, there's nothing called a viral video. There's a lot that goes into making a video viral, right? It, the idea and the video itself are not going to just randomly go viral. I mean, that's a that's like absolute random, absolutely random. Uh, I mean, and we're not talking about Colliver D here. I mean, I mean, good for good for Danush, right? But uh, uh, for the rest of the you know the brands and the marketers who who are trying to make viral videos, there's so much science and thought and planning behind it, and and thousands and millions of nudges that you put out there to ensure that that a campaign that has videos at the center of it has a certain impact, has a certain reach, right? When you look to run a customer acquisition campaign and there's a video or a set of videos that are central to it, what are the three things that you definitely want to include in those videos? And I'm talking purely from a customer acquisition for POV. Got it, got it. Um, I wish there was a formula to it. Um, and, and we constantly look at um, getting a formula it, every single time a campaign goes out to, to get that right. But certain basics um, remain the same. Um, your video is your video is basically like like the superstar of the of the film. All right. You've you've and 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 the role, or rather your brand is the superstar of the film, and, and in translation, the movie becomes uh, the video. Um, just like any blockbuster, there is there are three parts to 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 the making of a great movie. Uh, there is there is great stress problem that is that is that is that is uh, uh, you know um, showcased at the start of it. There is the emergence of the hero who comes in um, uh, to kind of alleviate these problems, and then there are these wonderful manifestations of what. Uh, the superstar can do to kind of um, uh, solve uh, all of these problems. This is exactly what the brand is for you, and this is exactly what the video does for you through uh, uh, through through th through this entire blockbuster. Uh, so, quite simply, uh, the three parts to a video would obviously be uh, defining the problem or 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 the situation that you want to you want the consumer to to be exposed to. Uh, the role of the brand, uh, the problem that the brand is solving, or the reason to believe uh, that the brand can 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 solve this, um, and of course, what the the final outcome that you as a as a consumer you want them to act on, uh, which could be anything from uh, the the offering uh, all the way linked up to the call to action, which which leads to the uh, customer acquisition. Uh, in each of these three parts, uh, these three parts can have 
uh, can come in 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 any order. Uh, we see uh, while while the textbooks say that you know the, you know the rules like the brand should be shown in the first five seconds to uh, to to you know ensuring that the hook uh, remains comes in before the last ten seconds of the uh, video. We see this clutter constantly uh, breaking. Uh, this this norm constantly breaking and it's in, and as long as you ensure that these three elements are put in and this is what the consumer is going to take back from this um, you're sorted um, and and just like any other blockbuster there is there is a need for a reasonable amount of masala there is a need for uh, for you to ensure that the hook stays relevant um, and and it's constantly refreshed in the form of having various forms of videos. There is um, a need where you'll have to evaluate uh, a star power. Does, does the video really require a, a superstar to do it or is it is it anyone who can who can do this? So while all these elements come in its execution, uh, uh, the skeletal or, or the skeletal of the of the blockbuster or, or the video that you want to make um, remains to be uh, the problem, the reason to believe, or the solution that the brand uh, brings in, um, and the and the proposition leading up to a customer acquisition. Got it. Got it. I think that was super helpful. You know, especially for early stage startups that don't have an opportunity to go out and uh, blow budgets on brand awareness, right? Uh, and they sort of dive right into customer acquisition. Um, they don't have the luxury of talking too much of the, about the brand and positioning it. They they sort of have to go right into positioning the product, and there definitely everything you've mentioned, you know, which is which is the biggest focus being what is the reason to believe and what is the reason to buy into, yeah. you know, your brand, your product, and it, that you know challenge your problem statement and solution statement and action now that you know the solution all have to be compressed into those six you know 30 60 or at max 90 seconds right everything's sort of crammed and then in all of this the brand is a superhero Adipoli, this is the magic of nadan mutta put in a bowl oh very nice also put in hot hot ghee rice Nothing for doing yet try easy One bowl meals can make you lazy Ada today on it a catarafi Only supplies hard to mow The Bowl Company presents Mind Bowl and Bowl Specially co-created with me Danish Seth Order now We, we live in an exciting yeah. time with with startups mushrooming every single day, with the with the rate at which they are funded, especially in places like India, uh, you'd see you know everything from the flurry of the Dream 11s to to every single um, gamification platform that's coming out, uh, to the whole host of uh, quick delivery service platform um, and and the content that they put out. Uh, to meet players today that that are coming out and 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 uh, and right up to even um, 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 you know Bitcoin uh, uh, makers currently all of them at at very nascent stages of their company uh, out there for a specific task of just acquiring consumers. Um, we all know that at the st early stages of any startup consumer acquisition and and the fastest way to do that is going to be absolutely key. So it's important that um, your communication or the video does that for you. This is where I feel they do the they do a fabulous job of cutting down um, sizes of video uh, across different platforms doing different things. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a reason why a five second video has to be made uh, to ensure that the performance or acquisition happens at that particular time. Aditya ji, अच्छा हो आप घर पे आ गए, वरना मुझे एक घंटा बैंक की लाइन में लगना पड़ता। अच्छा आप ये बताइए कि आपके इंडिया गोल्ड लॉकर सर्विस में ऐसी क्या खास बात है जो आम बैंक लॉकर्स में नहीं? सिंपल। इंडिया गोल्ड मतलब इंडिया के सबसे सुरक्षित और एक लौटी डोरस्टेप लॉकर सर्विस। 
अब घर बैठे आपको मिलती है फिंगरप्रिंट सिक्योरिटी मतलब आपके लॉकर को आपके अलावा कोई और खो ले नहीं सकता ऊपर से लॉकर में रखी गोल्ड ज्वेलरी पर फ्री इंश्योरेंस मतलब डबल बेनिफिट जो पूरे इंडिया में कोई और लॉकर देता ही नहीं और फ्री पिकअप एंड ड्रॉप जब आपको लॉकर ऑपरेट करना हो आप बस इंडिया गोल्ड ऐप पे टाइम बुक करें मैं खुद आपके पास लॉकर लेके हाजिर यानी मुझे बैंक में घंटों लाइन में रुकने की जरूरत ही नहीं <laughs> सिर्फ सोना ही नहीं हम आपके भरोसे को भी रखते हैं सुरक्षित so we being a video partner to a lot of brands um you know like i mentioned sometimes marketers walk up to us and they say you know make a viral video and we know it really isn't how it works it just that just that's just not how it works um and and the other problem we face is often we get really vague or long briefs that don't go very far right um now yes the, you know we do have a creative team and a copy team and we can deep dive a little bit and come up with great concepts and ideas but for us to be able to do that and to translate it really well uh you know with the brand at the heart of it and the product or service or solution at the heart of it and really ensure that the video delivers the message as well and that the you as you know as as uh, in marketing can leverage those content pieces as well for the intent and you know given the roi that you have to deliver for the business right and the growth that you have to deliver what's very very important is a great brief right now here my superhero is going to come in and ask a very important question we got a very colorful giraffe here so this is a giraffe question okay and the giraffe is asking right um a brief just isn't a brief anymore right so what are your tips on a great video brief well, so i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to bow down and and get the head from the sky uh, to the ground and and give you a little insight of what happens on this side of the table all right um mm-hmm. and and i and i appeal to all uh, uh video making companies like such as yourself to really empathize and understand uh that uh-oh, brief writing uh-oh. i don't know if i'm going to like what i'm going to hear <laughs> you know brief writing is the most difficult part for any uh any brand or anyone handling a brand uh simply because um brand managers today live and breathe the brand they wake up every day thinking about the brand they go to sleep thinking about the brand they, they uh it's 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 only the it's only it, it's basically the baby uh and 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 they, they they're out there to constantly um um and 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 the true belief for any brand manager is that everyone in the world knows about my brand and then and then they would appreciate it the same way uh they appreciate their brand so there is tremendous amount of brand love for the particular brand for the brand manager which also means that when they are writing the brief there's going to be an immense amount of bias they don't know as you um that you know enough about the brand just like the way they do uh they going to assume that um you know um we we going to uh, they going to have the same passion or or bring them up to the same level of uh intention uh, that that one would have to build the particular brand uh mm-hmm. but when we switch the roles it's 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 unfair uh for you to kind of I'll tell you why it's unfair <laughs> not because i'll tell you what what the challenge is absolutely right if you know if you ask anyone hey do you want to make a great film for swivi everybody every you know filmmaker what they sort of like yeah absolutely why not and then comes the timeline we need the whole thing done in two weeks or three weeks or one month we have no time to dive into anything right yeah even the long neck does not help so yeah <laughs> No no absolutely that that all stems from immense brand love right you you want it so badly you want that video so badly that you can't wait uh, to get it out but but the fundamental rule remains you know garbage in is equal to garbage out uh, there is it's it's absolutely necessary and and this is why uh, even in our teams we we definitely allude to the fact that no one's an expert in writing a brief uh it's a it's a constant journey and it 
and, and any of the past briefs that uh, me or my teams would have written, if I pull it out, there are going to be a hundred things that we could have done better or or sharpened better. Uh, but the but 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 it's important that we stay true to the to the flow or the construct of the brief to ensure that at least we don't miss um, and 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 we don't we don't take it in a completely different direction in that sense. Um, the the and and I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of 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 great briefs and the and the way um, and the way you know kind of it it translates to great products at the end. I'll I'll take you through the Coke and meals the Diwali. Uh, campaigns that we that we do. Uh, sure. The brief starts with setting context um, about the festival of Diwali, um, how the festival is about people coming together. Food is central uh, to the festival. Uh, there is there is great uh, merriment with family, friends, relatives turning up unannounced. Uh, there is insane amount of memory attached to dinner table conversations and a festival that that brings more people to that dinner table is absolutely crucial uh, the role of the brand is very sharply defined because it's it's convenient it's the most refreshing beverage it's it's it goes great with food indian food is spicy so the pairing is great there is so much content that i've just told you about um, but when Sometimes when a when a brief is written, it could be as simple as "Oh, Diwali is a great festival. Um, we want to capture the occasion of uh, meals, uh, and and this is where the brand comes in." Uh, it's it's not wrong, but just that the the weight of uh, the weight or the appreciation for the occasion uh, that that I defined at the start of it is completely missed out at uh, at the stage of just. Um, simplifying it to uh, to three lines, assuming that the people who are developing the ad, uh, the, the the content would know about these these things. So, um, while you said content is king, uh, context is definitely queen, and and that's that's the that's the core of core of any brief. And and the moment we see. Uh, context or background setting in just two or three lines, we, we kind of flip and, and and there's a constant endeavor to go as deep as possible. Um, depending on the brand or service that you're looking at, uh, beef this up with as much data. Don't hold back to think that, okay, this may not be relevant or that may not be relevant. Pump mm -hmm. it in with data because that's what the brand managers in any case doing. We have yeah. this wealth of content and, and data that, mm. that has to be translated to anyone working on the brand. Uh, then comes the other details of exactly what are the videos, video cuts that you would want? What are the formats? Where are they going to go out into? Um, every element of an MR should be, should be defined in the brief itself. Uh, then, of course, the timelines. Um, and I mean, again, like like you mentioned, uh, everyone wants it yesterday because because of brand love. Don't take it any other way. It's not lack of planning. It's not lack of uh, uh, alignment. Uh, it is due to brand love, and and no one loves a brand more than brand managers. So <laughs> so hence hence it is. It, but it is important that realistic timelines are defined to it, um, and then we get rolling. <laughs> जब दिल ने उजालों का दरवाजा खोला जब दिल ने उजालों का दरवाजा खोला आया क्या दिल्ली वाला फीलिंग यार मैं आई डोंट नो हाउ टू थैंक यू गाइस हर दिल Awesome. 
Well, I think uh, Mr. Giraffe is very happy with your answer. His stomach is also full, so he's going back to the background. And uh, we can continue talking about ROI then. Okay. So, yeah, ROI. A great video isn't just a great video. A great video isn't a great video without it delivering great ROI, right? So it's all about the ROI. Uh, and you mentioned performance and numbers earlier. So I want to go a little deeper into that now. So it's all about conversion metrics. And these are getting sharper every day, every year. So today you can't really look at a video independently, but, oh, but you have to look at it in the context, like you mentioned, right? And a whole host of other data has to be considered. Uh, not just in the planning, um, but also in the execution of the campaign itself, right? So I'd love for you to give us some insights on this. Um, and, you know, let's say I'm, um, you know, sort of four years into my career and I have to run customer acquisition, you know, campaigns uh, for the B2C brand that I work for. What are the fundamental things that I, I should bear in mind in my planning and execution? Now, how do I drive better ROI for my brand with a video campaign? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's 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 such a voluminous uh, subject in itself, and and this was this is basically the most transformational aspect to your uh, first question. You know, how is marketing media mix changed? Um, ROI has really changed. So for for someone who's um, Who's, who's, who's four years in, like you said, uh, is just wanting to run a customer acquisition model. Uh, there are distinct two parts to it. One is, of course, content creation and the whole process that goes into creation. It's very important that at the creation stage itself, um, you are aware about what is going to be measured or the objective of your campaign. Then you have the whole aspect of measuring this. Uh, you know, what are your click-through rates, uh, view-through rates? What are your uh, CTRs for, for your campaign? Um, how are you optimizing it? How are you ensuring that the content is as refreshed as possible? Um, you know, some famous TV ads were when, when Vodafone came out with the Zuzu campaigns. Um, and if, if, if digital was as uh, equipped as, as it was, uh, they it was absolutely clutter breaking they came in and they and they and they gave great amount of content with humor um, and which which really surprised uh, audiences uh, but they just didn't stop with that they they realized that audience are going to be fatigued by by a single uh, version of the of the commercial and ensure that they had at least uh, a, 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 an entire gamut of commercials that talk about various functions of it and and they timed it in in, in such a way that um, in such a way that these matrices were optimized that is what we're doing today um, once a video goes out there it's 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 remotely forgotten it is just the start of a whole new process of measurement um, while you have links link tests neuroscience or or you just get a bunch of friends to uh, view and critique the video when it goes out there. Uh, there's there's this whole um, a world of audience that is constantly rating and critiquing your video. Um, mm. When you when you look at benchmarks for view through rates, CTRs, engagement scores, um, it's not just important that and and these benchmarks are are really what are really getting sharpened as we go on. Uh, the big sigh of relief that brand managers had when their campaign hits the floor uh, does not exist today. Uh, it, they mm -hmm. know that it's just the start and there's perhaps enough and more work that comes after the brand or the campaign goes live. Um, and, 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 and that's that's equally more, if not more important uh, than the development of the campaign itself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bharat. I think one last question before we close, right? Uh, and I think this is, uh, is a very important piece of information for marketers, young marketers especially, to have, and also for folks on the creative side to have, right? Um, and which is this, assuming that your whole campaign budget is about five crores, 
what is the actual percentage of that you would spend on the content alone so see uh, the unfortunate thing is that um, media eats up um, over like like at least 95% of of all budgets all right um, yeah. and and the deeper or um, and and today traditional media channels still command a very high fee while there is insane amount of transparency and 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 rather globalization or 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 uniformity that that's coming out through digital mediums um you still have a great amount of dependence uh, especially um especially when you look at mediums like print outdoor depending on uh the partners that you go with the cities that you want to target uh outdoor in 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 bombay would cost you 3 to 4 times the cost of any other uh even even what's 3 to 4 times of any other metro even uh depending on where and how you want to do it so that's mm-hmm. always going to be there yeah, and if you talk specifically in the context of digital marketing because i think a lot of our conversation yeah. has been yeah. you know on yeah. to do with yeah. digital so if you and what's the, what's the how does the figure work is it still 95% of the budget when it comes to digital too yeah i mean it will be because uh, uh, because that's where that's that's going to be the medium that is really going to carry this forward all right today uh, today you can content is easily um more budget does not always um ensure more better quality content all right today today if, if budgets are constrained you can look at partnerships you can do it you can look at um um you can look at using influencers you can look at um um you know very smartly using own media channels like emailers and push notifications to get your way through um so as budget string shrinks one thing that will be consistent at least for um content developers like such as such as red bangle would be that um quality is something that that cannot be compromised because today you have you can make your entire commercial on a on a mobile phone all right yes. one person can sit and do it all right today today we're moving into um uh, this 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 there's this surge of preference of silent movies all right which is going to cut off departments It's, you know sound light music uh, is going to cut off because there's a surge of people wanting to consume silent uh ads and contents um mm-hmm. so so it's so the space of content creation is going is getting simpler um mm-hmm. but but the, but the mantra to this is to ensure that you have the right people uh the, the right set of creative minds to really do that um there are tools constantly have existed mobile phones have existed um um your your softwares that allow you to create them have existed but the big issue has always been the creative mind to really make that happen and that's the price content creation really demands today and it's and it's mm. becoming far lesser about uh the 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 cutting edge technology or 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 the amount of elements that one would bring in i think more and more the the price is going to increase for great creative minds uh, mm-hmm. over anything else because uh, media is getting optimized uh, we, we perhaps have robo- robots in the future programming our entire media mix in and running it uh, we perhaps have uh, we, we we perhaps have uh, ai coming in and completely taking over optimizing uh, content and and the way and the way it works but one thing that is truly irreplaceable is is the ability to have creative minds to really translate that brief into great content um uh, and that i think is a price that that today varies uh that that, that varies pretty drastically basis mm-hmm. uh basis the reputation um and and the work that um agencies and 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 creative uh, and creators uh, really make so that's that's going to be key Thank you. Thank you so much Bharat. Really enjoyed talking Thanks. to you. I don't know we're out of time, but amazing insights there. And I'm really happy Giraffe got to ask a question too. Thank you. Oh lovely. That's a great inclusion. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank-, Thank you for joining us. 
Before you go, do check out our other episodes. Our first episode was on videos for account-based marketing and featured a senior marketing leader from Infosys. The second episode was on regional TV campaigns featuring one of the directors of marketing at Metro Cash and Carry in India. And the third episode was on videos for hiring and employer branding and featured the head of diversity and inclusion at Freshworks. Follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Drop us a comment or two with your suggestions for us on topics and guests. Thank you for joining us on Video Crawl. Grow your business with videos by Red Bank.